In this lecture snippet, I want to focus in on using the MD5 deep suite of tools rather than using the default ones that come on Ubuntu. Now, there's nothing wrong with the default ones that come on Ubuntu with the MD5 sum and so forth, but I actually like the MD5 deep command in the suite basically because of the progress indicator. And there are a couple other options that I had mentioned in the overview video for hashing. So I want to show you quickly how to first install the MD5 deep suite which is really simple. Just the sudo command, the app-get install, and then the md5 deep. And it will go through, and I'll need the password here for the administrative user, and it'll install the actual md5 sweep for me. Now once it's installed, I do also want to show you that and I'll use the man page here that there's more than just md5 hash that's been installed. So if I do man and I do the md5 deep You'll see here that this these are the commands that actually are part of this suite. This was created by the United States Air Force, and so this is a fairly good tool to use if you want to use this. And so it does offer the MD5 algorithm, the SHA-1 algorithm, the SHA-256 algorithm, the Tiger algorithm, and the Whirlpool algorithm for hashing. And I'm going to go ahead and just hit the Q to quit out of that man page and then I'm going to come back here and explain what's on my desk. You'll see desktop, you'll see a file 1 and file 2. Now in the previous lesson that I did with MD5 sum, all I did was change just a space character within file 2 and it changes the algorithm altogether. And then what I have here under the hash.txt file is a list of the hashes that were produced by the MD5 sum command as well as the M MD5 sum as well as the SHA-1 sum and the SHA-256 sum command. And so what I want to do now is I want to look at what will happen if I were to do the MD5 deep command and the whole suite of that. So I'll just use a suite. I'm going to go ahead and save that file and close it. And I just want to show you that the hashes should be identical. So to begin with, I'll just navigate over to the desktop. CD desktop. There we go. And I'm going to run clear to clear my terminal there. And let's begin with the MD5 deep command. And I'm going to go ahead now and do it on file 1. And then I'm going to go ahead and also append to that hash text file that I have sitting there. I'll go ahead and hit enter. And so if I look at this file, you should see that the hash, the O2BCAF and then so forth, is the exact same hash that I saw with MD5 sum. So there's really no difference there with the commands between the two. There, um, one difference here, you'll see it says file 1 here. By default, it gives me the full file path for file 1. So that is another slight difference between the two commands. I'll go ahead and close that. And I'll go ahead and do the same thing for file 2 and that should now be appended to the hash file as well and I'll run the SHA-1 deep command for file 1 and append that to the hash.txt file and then I'm also going to do the SHA-256 as well. So SHA-256 deep run that command and I'll also do the what I would like to do is I'll show you what the tiger and the whirlpool look like. So tiger deep and then also run the whirlpool deep. And you'll see those hashes that are all listed on there. Now one more thing I want to do before I go back to that hash.txt file is I want to show you where the big difference is that I see with the progress indicator that I really enjoy using. So if I were to do an MD5, let's just say the MD5 deep command and I wanted to do this on a partition and which is a lot bigger than a text file so like the DEV I have SDC1 partition and I want to redirect that over to the hash.txt it'll take that whole partition and I'll have to sit there and wait until it's done if I use the dash E option which if I were looking in the man page I would find the dash E will turn on the progress indicator and I hit enter you'll see here oops I actually need to run this as the sudo 
the root user. There we go, sudo md5. You'll see that it actually breaks down and shows me the progress of the hash and how many megabytes have been taken in. And depending on the type of file I have, sometimes it will give me the actual time remaining. And on hard drives, I've noticed that it hasn't given me a lot of times of time remaining, but on larger files it will. So the progress indicator can be something that helps you just while you're waiting to determine what's going on and what's happening with the command while it's running. So I'm going to let this run through. All right, so the partition is actually finished now with the hashing. So I'm going to just open up the hash.txt file that I have here. And so now that the file's opened up, I can examine the hashes. And I'll see that everything matches up exactly what I saw before. Now there are two hashes that I added to the command. And this was the hash for the tiger deep and the whirlpool deep commands for the tiger hash. And you'll see that the tiger hash right there is produced on file one is a 192 bit hash value. And then you'll also see this really long one. This is the whirlpool hash and that one is going to be for a 512 bit hash value for the actual whirlpool hash. And so two different hashing algorithms are available with the MD5 deep suite, but you can see everything else, the device itself matched up with the MD5 sums hash of it. So there's only a slight differences between the two commands, but I typically like to use the MD5 suite and I just wanted to show you some of the options for it.